crosshair, and man, he's found a lot of picks. But now <laughs> we are back oh in no. person, and joining me on the desk is the esports Eric. What's going on, Eric? Hey, pretty good. How y'all doing? Doing, doing well. Doing great. Thank you, thank you. So, Eric, uh, just introduce yourself to the broadcast for us. Yeah, so my name is Eric Jemphy, or Esports Eric, how my handle is. Uh, I am a esports student here with the program, and it's my second semester. Awesome. Awesome. So uh, we have a couple questions written down here that we'd like to ask you. Sure. Uh, he is a part of the SU Spring 2022 esports event management class. So really, I wanted to ask you this to start off. How did you first discover the esports community? What kind of got you into the scene? I think it was actually a documentary on Netflix. It was like a Cloud9 documentary. And uh, I think it was like back in 2014, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, their League of Legends mm -hmm. team. And uh, I was like, wow, I think they made it to the semis or something. Right. Um, and that kind of like started getting my wheels turning. And I was like, okay, that's the thing. But I was still in the Air Force at that time. So I was like, okay, you know, just got to do day-to-day -day normal life. And I think at 2017 when I got out and in 2018 I was kind of looking for school. That's kind of like when I started actually looking into esports. And I was like, oh, that's actually a viable thing. So Right. Awesome. Well, you talked a little bit about how you were in the Air Force. Do you yes. want to elaborate a little bit on that for the viewers? Sure, sure. Uh, I, I was in Air Force in 2013 uh, to 2017, so I did four years. I was air crew flight equipment, which uh, dealt with like pilots and stuff like that, their life preserve and different um, things of the aircraft. And um, I, I went to in McConnell in Wichita, Kansas, is where I was stationed. So, yeah, that was kind of my thing for four years. Not as accomplished as J uh, Justin, <laughs> you know, deployments and everything like that, you know. But, you know, I had a cool time in the Air Force, and it, it was a good experience. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And also, <coughs> I just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about today's event and kind of what your role is in this yeah, whole thing. Definitely. So, you know, we have this awesome charity event that we're putting on with Wounded Warrior Project. And also, uh, we have... Throughout the different things going on, we have the Air Force gaming, the uh, Air Force pro team that we're playing. So uh, I actually had an opportunity to reach out to them and talk to them, and they, you know they were really on board. So it was actually cool because you know me serving in the Air Force and now being in school and working with the Air Force has actually kind of come full circle. So it's it's pretty cool being able to reach out with them, and now that we're doing a you know something in partnership with them, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. All right, uh, we have another question here that's written down, but if you could game with anyone in the world, who would it be, and what would you play with? And what would you play? What would mm -hmm. I play? That's a good question. That is a good question. You know, like, I'm not really good at League. Mm -hmm. I know maybe the bare minimum, <laughs> but I like the mystique around Faker mm -hmm. a lot and yeah. how he's been, like, awesome for a long time. Yeah. So I think I would love to play with him no matter how bad I am. I think that's cool. I see. And I'm assuming that's League of Course. Yeah, League of Legends, which I go. know almost nothing about, but <laughs> I, I like to watch it because they get so hype about it, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, I'm assuming you may have played League maybe once or a couple of times here and there. I'm yeah, assuming. like barely. I just like watched it and I like watched that Netflix mm -hmm. special and that kind of got me really hyped on it. Do you yeah. maybe have a favorite character in League? Um, You know, like I play like the basic people that, you know, you, you play with, right. but... um. You know what's what's her name the the girl that is in the show Caitlin I or Jinx, uh, Jinx. I think it's yeah Jinx. Jinx. I think it's Jinx, Jinx. yeah there's, yeah there's a few of them <laughs> so you know that's one in, in the the Netflix show yeah, so yep. I'll, I'll watch that but yeah definitely like her Arcane's and different good. place like that like I just kind of I like healing and stuff too so mm -hmm. did you finish Arcane by chance I did yeah how on I a scale Arcane. of one to ten how would you rate Arcane you know that really blew my mind I have to give it a, even if not a Ten and nine. It, it, it was pretty high up there. The, the sound, the music was amazing yeah. too. I mean, the I have the soundtrack downloaded on my phone. I actually haven't watched it yet, so I may watch it in my spare you time. Actually, yes. definitely should. It's really good. I, I've been hearing a lot of good reviews. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, surrounding the Lee community, um, it isn't the best. However, I try and stand on the opposition of that and really try to support it. So hopefully. To what everyone else is telling me, I mean, Arcane just sounded yeah, really good. Solid. It's really good. Definitely, it's one of the best shows on Netflix right now. Really? Yeah. So yeah, like okay. high key. Like after watching it, I watched it just a couple weeks ago actually, like in one sitting, and it oh was wow. just really good. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. That's how why long? I watched it in one how sitting. long is the series? Uh, I think it's like eight episodes, and they're an hour ish. So you know, I kind of had a, a binge day. Good binge day. <laughs> yeah. Did that get you a little pumped and amped to play some League? 
Yeah, you know, I, I downloaded Wild Rift. On my, oh, there on we my go. Oh, there we go. Tablet, so I'm trying to get into it. There's like a bunch of games I need to play. Like of Overwatch course. being one of them. Overwatch, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, especially after watching, you know, Scrogs, uh, yeah. Doc G, and especially our team, of course, uh, mm -hmm. playing. I, that kind of gets me hyped to play oh, yeah. you know, next time I s get on a computer. For sure. So... Eric, you're not just a gamer, though. You're also kind of a traveler. Do you want to tell ah, a little yes. bit about your experiences that you've had recently sure, traveling the world? Sure. Uh, yeah, you know, I've dabbled here and there. Um, I'm actually half Ghanaian, half Sri Lankan. So my mom's Ooh. from Asia, my dad's from Ghana. And I had an opportunity to go to two places over this past, you know, winter break, January. Mm -hmm. I went to uh, Thailand wow. and Sri Lanka. That's and I'm assuming they were really beautiful places. Oh, yeah, beautiful. I'm talking elephants, blue-green water, wow. islands. It was amazing. I spent about 10 days in uh, Thailand, about five days in Sri Lanka. I'm actually going back in Let's this go. summer. Let's yeah. go. Congratulations. So it was that good of a time. Yeah, <laughs> it was that good of a time. Let's and go. I was able to actually reach out to some of the esports people out there oh, with nice. um, uh, the federation that runs esports in Thailand and also the federation that runs it in Sri Lanka. So that's going to be a connection down the road as well for us and oh. do you also document uh your trips as well do yes. you have a place that we could maybe watch it definitely definitely i, I do have a youtube um it's uh esports eric you know my handle and it's mostly revolving around food travel and esports you know those three categories because i love all three so um yeah that's a good ch place to check me out and also to see the kind of the vlogs and the progression i will be documenting this summer and this actually time around yeah this in two weeks i'm gonna be in ghana that's awesome oh nice yeah so i'm gonna do something out there and also esports the, the federation of esports in ghana we're gonna be doing some work that's let's awesome. go that sounds awesome actually yeah. that's so excited i'm really excited to see the instagram posts and everything off of that so awesome thanks all right well thank you so much for joining us eric i think that we're gonna roll into another video from wounded warrior project then take a quick break and we will be right back in a little bit with more overwatch content for you guys